My name is Kelly. We were a family of five that went on Wonder of the Seas in July. Um, we got two balcony rooms um, and the ages were two college ages and my youngest who is 16 was in high school. Um, and this was our first time on Wonder of the Seas. We had been on Harmony of the Seas and we had been on three Disney cruises, but the first time on Wonder. So we're here to talk about that. So one of the pro tips that we'll talk about when we have a family of five is we get two rooms. So we like having two bathrooms. We like having enough beds for everyone that they don't have to share, especially when we get the ages that they are. Um, so I would recommend if you want, if you think you need to get a suite, you do not. You can get two balcony rooms and we got ocean view balcony rooms much cheaper than buying a suite that would have had a similar option. So keep that in mind. You can also do a one balcony and one inside room that are pretty close as well and just share the balcony. So ours was again, two balcony rooms, they were attached and how they, you don't, they're not connecting on the inside, they're connected on the balcony. So your room attendant can open up the balcony partition and then you can walk um, between the two rooms that way, which was nice. Uh, the bathroom was was good. It had a shower door. It was not a curtain, which is a plus. It had multiple shelves. Um, it had reusable bath wash. There was no shampoo and conditioner, so keep that in mind. I believe if you're a Diamond member or above, you do get you do get shampoo and conditioner. But we are not that. We're still in the I'll call it um, entry level of of Royal Caribbean, and so there was reusable bath wash, but no shampoo and conditioner, which was fine because we brought our own. Um, there is a blow dryer there was and so the ba bathroom in our opinion worked great i felt like it was big for a cruise ship and like i said having the two was great for us there was two closets and they were nice size closets and so my daughter and i shared one room and she had one closet and i had the other there was plenty of hangers um, plenty of drawers we had empty drawers actually and we brought quite a bit um, and so the closets were great size. There was no trouble there. We put our suitcases under the bed. So a pro tip is to make sure you unpack. It really will make your cruise cabin much more organized and it will make, make you feel much more lived in. Yes, it's always a pain to pack up the last day, but if you pack minimally for the most part and you bring the right things, it really isn't that bad. But it really will make your experience in your room much better with other people when you can unpack. Also a pro tip in your closet is use your hangers for multiple things. So we actually, each of us had a backpack. So we slung the backpack over the hangers and put those inside the closet as well. That really frees up more space. And if you wanna use your backpack to hold things, like we used it to hold some medicines that we brought and different things like that, it was easily accessible that you can just grab out of your closet. Another thing to keep in mind is if there are empty hangers, if the shift is swaying and you're hearing those, which I was one night when there was a storm, I could hear the clanking of the hangers. I just removed them. So if you're hearing a clanking, keep in mind your hangers may be the ones clanking. And then a third pro tip would be my husband felt like you know his when the sun came up early in the morning, he could see the sun through the curtain um, going out to the balcony and it was just enough of a sliver to wake him up. So a pro tip, and this is from um, Travel, Travel with Lori's, I think was her name, um, take the hangers with the clips that you clip pants or skirts and clip your curtain. So you can take the hanger out of that closet that has it and just clip your curtain closed and that will kind of seal it up so you don't have the sun coming in. So another pro tip for your room. So back to the room, we had a king size bed. Um, both rooms had that, that we split into twins. So everybody had their own bed. There also was a couch with a pullout um, that um, the three on the other room used um, for the pullout. So room was quite, was great. And you just, if your room, if your bed is not split, your room steward on the first day, you just ask them and they will do that for you. Uh, we had two balcony chairs on each room with uh, i'll call it foot rest as well they were very comfortable we spent a lot of time in our balcony i know there are people that say they never spend time we did we ordered um, coffee and bagels every morning and sat in our balcony and drank that or in the afternoon after we were getting done getting ready we would read our books or we would have a, a glass of wine or a martini and we would sit on our balcony so we used our balcony a lot we love looking out at the ocean and having that um, breeze come in and just that feeling. Uh, so keep in mind, you you could use the balcony or you may not. I know others don't, but we really love that. And take advantage of the continental breakfast. So when you order room service, there is a charge except for continental breakfast. 
Uh, and so again, every morning you fill out a card at night. You have to have it out by a certain time hanging on your door. You check mark the things that you'd like, and then you put a time down that you'd like it delivered. Uh, and so we did that and it worked great. Pro tip, if you're a big coffee drinker, and my daughter and I are, um, they brought like a mini uh, carafe. If you put times two or even extra large, they would bring you two mini carafes. Um, so if you want more coffee, just ask for more on your card. And then if you want even more than that, you can take the little mini carafe to the promenade and get free coffee, black coffee from that and bring it back up. I did have people stop me when I was carrying my little mini carafe saying, oh my gosh, that was so smart. Never thought to do that. I was just bringing my glass. So keep those are some pro tips if you're a coffee drinker like my daughter and I. So the room, like most cruise ships, you have to use your room key for the electricity. Another tip that I would give you is bring a, a all you need is a hotel room key of some sort, that same size. And so you can slip that into the um, outlet, if you will, and then you don't risk losing your rooms pass key, your C pass key, or forgetting it in there. Now remove it so you um, don't have the electricity on when you don't need to, but keep in mind when you take that out, the electricity will go off after a certain few seconds time. Um, in addition to that, if you have your balcony room door even slightly open, the air conditioning shuts off. So you need to have your balcony door sealed and your room key or a hotel room key in the outlet to have the electricity and air conditioning running. So we really loved our balcony rooms. Um, we were on the 12th floor, it was great. Another tip is you can actually decorate your room door. Remember, it's one long, big hallway. And sometimes when it's late at night or it's tired, you know, you don't want to go to the room, the wrong room. So you can use magnets um, or door magnets to decorate your door. And we did see that. We actually bought a couple ducks from prior that we had. And so we used that. Um, but you can see people do fun things like for birthdays and anniversaries. This is a fun way if you want to identify your door. And then last about the rooms that I highly recommend is bringing magnets. So as I said, the whole cruise, the cruise itself is metal. They're metal walls, metal doors. So that's why the magnets work. So bring magnet hooks and clippies. Um, and it will keep your room so much more organized. So you can hang your lanyards, you can hang wet swimsuits, towels, robes, backpacks, your beach bag, hats. We hung all those on the wall with these hook magnets and it just kept everything clutter free. And then the second kind of clip magnet that we bring is an actual clip, a paper clip, because you get a lot of paperwork. If you get a spa, you get paperwork for that. If you have an excursion the next day, you get paperwork for that. Your debarkation information, you get paperwork for that. You get your tickets. And so you can clip those on the wall so it keeps your desk and your counter clear as well. So another pro tip for your balcony room. But again, we would definitely stay in the balcony room again on Wonder of the Seas. They were great. Um, we really enjoyed it quite a bit. So we did get the beverage package. Um, my 22 year old son and my husband got the deluxe package. I got the refreshment package, which comes with, so the deluxe package is pretty much everything. Any uh, liquor, soda, juices, pops, coffees, whatever that they, they may want that way. I got the refreshment package, which includes everything but alcohol. So the specialty coffees, the milkshakes, the juice is all included, but not the alcohol. And then my two youngest kids, my daughter and my son, got the soda package, which is the refillable mug. Um, and that really worked for us. So I did not get the deluxe beverage package because my daughter and I were in the same room. If you are 21 and older, you are required, if one person gets a deluxe package, which is the one that includes the alcohol, everyone over 21 in that room needs to get it. But because I was in with my daughter, we did not have to get it. And, and it really did not, was not cost effective for me to get it for myself anyway. I'm not a big drinker. I may have two, three cocktails during the day at most. And I just paid out of pocket for that. So I just paid cash. You really need to have about six drinks a day, approximately is what I've heard to break even on the deluxe package, um, six alcohol drinks. Now, if you, if you don't get any package whatsoever, bottled water, you know, if you're going to use, you really need to add that into it, depending on how your drink, you drinks are on whether it's worth it for you. But for me, um, I rec recognized I saved money not getting the deluxe package and just getting the refre refreshment package. 
and just paying out of pocket. My son and husband, on the other hand, they definitely got their money's worth out of the deluxe package because they do have more drinks than that during the day, alcohol drinks in particular, and we're really enjoying that. So it really is on your preference. So the bars, we did um, go to several of the bars and we do have some rankings on those drinks. The lime and coconut is kind of Royal, Royal Caribbean's bars um, by the pools in partic particular. They have the signature drink, which was amazing. And I think it was actually called the lime and coconut and they put it in a bucket. And it was, in my opinion, 10 out of 10. I really liked it. Um, now, my son thought it was too sweet. Um, and, it, and it was a little sweet. I couldn't have more than one. But for the one drink and to have that kind of fruity, just really felt like you were on a cruise, um, I gave it a 10 out of 10. He ordered the Passion Spritz at Lime and Coconut, which he gave a 7.5 out of 10. And that was more of a wine spritzer. Um, and again, 7.5 out of 10 for him on that. The Solarium Bar um, was, was very, very good as well. Again, same similar drinks. There was the Robot Bar and we did get um, some drinks there. The Schooner's Bar is more of like, it had like some piano bar um, activities. It's where you go for trivia. Um, and we got some good drinks there. The Comedy Club um, was great. We did watch two comedians at the Comedy Club. That does require reservations. Um, and you're allowed to go one time during your sailing, or at least the sailing that we were on. There is the music hall. We actually never even got a chance to go to the music hall. There were so many activities. There was things we never even got a chance to do. Um, so we never went in the music hall. There was the Mason Jar, which was my husband and my son's favorite. So that's a restaurant and a bar. And it's got a country southern theme. So it would have country music playing at certain live country music playing at certain times of the day. It got very busy when that was happening. Um, we did eat there. And I'll talk about that, about the food and our experience at the Mason Jar here soon. And then Rising Tide. That was the bar that raised up and down. It started at the Royal Promenade and would go up to the Central Park. And that was actually our favorite bar. And we found that we used we found that one like a second to the last day of leaving. So I think day five. Um, and it become became one of our favorite bars. The two drinks that we really enjoyed was the pineapple guava sangria. And we gave that a nine out of 10. And the Carico Cosmo, which we also gave a nine out of 10. Um, but just the, so the drinks itself was, you know, said we found other drinks that we liked as well. But just the atmosphere of that bar, the selection, it was just really, really fun and really good. Um, so we really enjoyed the Rising Tide bar. So now for the restaurants, um, the main dining room, we chose early seating. Uh, which was a 515 seating. And we were really glad we did. So there's early seating, late seating, and then anytime seating. And we had anytime seating when we were on Harmony of the Seas. And we really didn't like that because we really couldn't get in. Um, reservations went very quickly. And we, the times that we wanted to eat, we felt like we either had to wait in line for quite a while or book way far in advance. And then what's the point of anytime seating, right? So we chose to go with early seating, and I'm really glad we did. 5.15 seemed pretty early when we were getting there, but honestly, by the time you get there, you grab your drinks, you sit down, it's you're not eating till closer to 6 o'clock anyway, and they were quite quick. Um, we loved our waitress and waiter um, on main dining room. We did have the same one throughout, so we knew which table to go to was the same table, um, and we loved that. And we found the main dining room food to be excellent um we did get um an extra lobster so there is a lobster night on the second formal night that is complimentary one for each person and then if you want a second one you pay for that and we did pay for that and we were fine with that um it was themed like specials of the night i would say and um it we found it to be quite to be quite great actually so um the main dining room we liked and we recommend picking an early or late seating if you don't want to wait in line that is specialty dining so the specialty dining that we partook in was the mason jar and that was jason and jaden my oldest son and my husband's favorite restaurant by far it had southern food um southern good food fried chicken um different things like that the desserts were amazing. The customer service was amazing. The music was, like I said, country. Um, the signature drink was the peanut butter old fashioned. And while uh, my son and husband said it was good, they gave it about a seven out of 10. They said it was very strong. So it wasn't their favorite. It did present well. It had a cute little marshmallow on top, um, but it wasn't their favorite, um, but they, they did say they would probably order it again. Um, we also then went to Johnny Rockets, which is a charge as well that has hamburgers, hot dogs, 
um, and onion rings and fries and old fashioned milkshakes. It's kind of themed in that 50s and 60s kind of old fashioned theme. My youngest son, 16 year old, he loves that place. He loves the theming, he loves the food. Um, and keep in mind, you can actually, if you have a beverage package, you can get a milkshake as part of the beverage package. So um, we did that a couple times that week too. You don't have to pay the extra charge for just the milkshake with the beverage package. Uh, Wonderland, we did not go to Wonderland this time. We had done that on Harmony of the Seas. That's a very cool um, experience, kind of uh, Al uh, Alice in Wonderland themed, if you will, um, with kind of eclectic food. We weren't a big fan of the food the last time we went. You, it, it definitely is different, but the theming and the experience is quite memorable. Um, so we definitely would go again for the experience and memory, but we did not go to it this time. Chop Steakhouse, again, we could have, we had the key, so we could have partaken in Chop Steakhouse for lunch. We chose not to on embarkation day. Um, but a pro tip, you can order a Chop Steak in the main dining room for an extra fee. So Chop Steakhouse, you do have to pay an extra charge, but if you go to the main dining room, which is part of your fare, you can pay a more minimal charge to get the steak if you want, which my husband did do one night. Um, so he was able to have the steak and we could have what we wanted um, for a much cheaper rate than all of us going to Chops and paying that, that charge. So we did do some shopping on the ship. Um, they have like Royal Caribbean themed stores. They have makeup and fragrance stores. They have purse jewelry purse stores jewelry stores watches of course um and then there was one thing i found strange is i couldn't find the area of where you buy like essentials that you may have forgotten or maybe you wanted some you know cold medicine or tylenol or those you know those essentials that there's usually a place for well we found it on the last night and it is tucked away um in a vending machine area on the 16th deck um, so we did find that in the last day and it was emptied out. The vending machines were, it was almost empty. Um, so, but keep in mind, they do have it, but you probably need to go early and you'll need to ask somebody. It, it was not in the normal shopping area like other cruise ships have. Again, we did go to the attic, which is the comedy club. We really enjoyed that. Very cool theming, great comedians. Um, we really enjoyed that. The musicals, they had some really fun musicals, m fun shows. Um, we went to a couple of those as well. We went to a game show that was quite fun. Um, and honestly, one thing that surprised us was the laser tag. So they have an ice rink on the ship. Um, they have an ice rink show. They have complimentary ice skating during certain times of the week. But then they put, also make it into a laser tag area as well. Um, and it was so much fun. So keep in mind, you do reserve a time for that. You'll wait in line. Um, you'll get randomly selected. There's two teams and our family was split up, which also made it fun. And red green, red team and a green team. And it was really fun. I kind of went for more of the experience to enjoy with the kids because the boys were excited about that. But I ended up having a blast as well. Um, no pun intended. Um, but if you really want to have a fun family experience, there are some high tech laser guns and it was really fun. So highly recommend that for a family activity. Overall, the customer service was excellent. Um, there was not much of a line in the customer services very often. You could definitely find time where there was no line. I had an error on my account. So on the app, it will show what you've been charging or what the charges are. And we had prepaid our gratuities before we got on the ship. But when we got on it, I noticed after day one, for one of my kids, which was Jaden, they were charging the daily gratuity just for him when I had prepaid that. I went down to the guest services and actually I didn't even have to go through the line. There was somebody at the at the front entrance of guest services that I just showed quickly um, that they were just charging us for him, her, for him. She saw that I had prepaid it and it was taken care of right there. I didn't even have to go in the line. So the customer service was, was fantastic. Uh, another fun activity, they have astronauts on ship, some easy to find, one almost impossible to find. So one fun activity we had Googled ahead of time, my husband had to find the four astronauts on the ship and the kids would have to text him with, with a selfie picture and the astronaut and we gave him a prize um, at the end of it. And so another fun um, idea that if you're looking for kind of that scavenger hunt thing with your family, just to keep people interested that week as well. Uh, so hopefully you found this helpful. Again, if you wanna know more about the ship overview, go to part one. Um, this is gonna be a multi-part series. Let me know below questions that you have. Please give me a like and subscribe and take a look at the next video. Um, the next one we'll be talking about is Coco Key and the Cabana at Coco Key.